Good evening and thanks for joining us. They occupy what's known as the House of Sober Second Thought, the Canadian Senate. But there are serious questions tonight about whether some of our senators are being entirely honest when claiming living expenses. Senators who don't live in the Ottawa area are allowed to claim living expenses when they're in the capital. And with 105 senators across the country, the cost quickly adds up. Taxpayers have paid more than $2 million to fund senators' expenses just since 2010. And now all of them are under scrutiny because a few seem to be playing fast and loose with the rules. Our Ottawa Bureau Chief Jacques Corbeau reports. Patrick Brazo lost his boxing match with Justin Trudeau. Now he's facing another battle with his Senate colleagues. Brazo is one of three senators facing questions about whether they're legitimately claiming a housing allowance. Liberal Senator Mac Harb was an Ottawa MP for 15 years before he was appointed to the Senate. Although he owns several properties in Ottawa, including a condo unit in this building, he now claims his principal residence is more than an hour's drive outside the city. This means Harb has been able to claim more than $30,000 in living expenses for the time he spends in Ottawa. But this real estate document tells a different story. It was signed when Harb claims he was living outside Ottawa, but it lists a condo unit near downtown Ottawa as the address where he can be reached. Today, Senator Harb didn't want to talk about his living arrangements. Sorry, Senator Harb, just a quick moment. Senator Harb, can you speak with us for a quick moment? Senator Harb, can I ask you about your primary residence, please? But stories like Harb's have prompted the Senate to launch an audit that will force senators to back up their claims for the housing allowance. You swear that this to be true, so not telling the truth is, is committing perjury. Uh, or the same mass committing per perjury and, and leaving you open to a criminal offence. Senator Jim Munson, like Harb, is a long-time Ottawa resident and he doesn't claim a housing allowance. Other senators are not comfortable with some of the stories they've read about their colleagues. Just because you have an allowance, you don't necessarily have to spend the allowance. Questions have also been raised about Mike Duffy. He owned a house in Ottawa before he was appointed to the Senate. He still has it, but now claims his principal residence is in PEI, so he gets a living allowance for the time he spends in Ottawa. But when this audit gets underway, Duffy and every other senator will have to prove they live in the place they call home. Donna? Jacques Bourbeau in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Jacques.